All right, I am going to show off a simple way to use animators through Udon by showing you how to open and close a door. Uh, so to get started, I have a door asset right here. I've given a animator. And on this animator, I have two animations, door open, which swings it open, uh, turns off its collider and, until the end, and plays an audio clip. And on close, it turns off its collider, swings itself shut, and then plays an audio clip. Uh, these are controlled through an animator with a bool open, which we will be using in our script. And it goes between door open and close here, and just swaps between that based on open, true, or false. So if we head over to our door knob, which is the object I've put the interaction script on, um, you can see we have a animator, a public animator here for the door. And I've put this on the door knob object instead of the door itself, just because it's a bit nicer to interact with the door knob rather than the entire door. If you want to put it on the entire door, you can, and just put itself into this spot using the same script. But for now, we'll be using the door knob. So if we open this up, you'll see we have uh, just a couple of things here. Um, we have a public animator uh, that we've called anim. And when you interact with it, I use the animator set bool, which gets the animator. And by default, this is set to int, which you probably don't want to use. You just use string. And I'm going to put that back in to be open. And we're setting this variable to the inverse value of what it already is. So down here, we're getting the bool open uh, from the animator again. And then we're putting it through a unary negation, which just takes a bool value, so let's say this is true, and outputs the opposite, which is false. So this is setting it to be the opposite of whatever it already is on interaction. Use it compile a few times. So let's check out our Udon Sharp version of this script. We have our public animator, anim, on private void interact. We set anim set bool to, and we're selecting the open one, and we're setting that to the opposite value of anim get bool open. And the exclamation point just tells it to be the opposite of anything that comes out after here. So this comes out as a bool. And that will be, let's say this is true, this turns it to false, and this sets open to be false. All right, so let's boot this up here and see how it works in game. All right, back in game, we have our door, and if we come up to our door knob, you can see we can interact with it. And when you click it, it opens the door. When you click it again, it'll close it. There you go. And that opens and closes the door and plays the animation that we were looking for. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, uh, as of this video, I'm gonna start posting the assets for these tutorials on my Patreon if anyone has any interest in playing through those, if they'd like. Um, and I'm hoping you guys can make use of those. All right, hope you enjoy.